Riyadh, Saudi Arabia's bustling capital, is about to undergo a transformation that will change the way millions of people live, work, and travel. Imagine a city with smooth, efficient public transportation, where traffic jams are a thing of the past and the air is cleaner. The solution? A $22.5 billion mega project, the Riyadh Metro. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Talktiv. If you're fascinated by massive infrastructure projects that are reshaping cities, today's video is for you. We're talking about the Riyadh Metro, a transformative public transit system that will not only revolutionize how people get around Riyadh, but also plays a crucial role in Saudi Arabia's ambitious Vision 2030 plan. So let's dive in and explore what makes this project so groundbreaking. The Riyadh Metro, once fully operational, will consist of six lines that will stretch across 176 kilometers of track, connecting key neighborhoods, government districts, business hubs, and the King Khalid International Airport. But it's not just about moving people from point A to point B. This metro system is designed to be the backbone of a modern, sustainable city. As the city grows, so does the traffic. Riyadh's population has surged to over 7 million people, and with it, the traffic congestion has reached critical levels. On top of that, car emissions contribute to significant air pollution, worsening the quality of life for its residents. The Riyadh Metro is the city's answer to these growing challenges. The Metro will offer an alternative to cars, reduce traffic jams, and lower pollution, creating a more sustainable environment for the people of Riyadh. And here's the kicker, it's just one part of a much larger vision. To understand why the Riyadh Metro is so important, we need to talk about Vision 2030. This plan, led by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, is an ambitious roadmap to diversify the Saudi economy away from oil dependency and towards a more sustainable, technologically advanced future. The metro is a key component of this transformation, positioning Riyadh as a global city that will rival other major metropolitan areas like London, New York, and Tokyo. Construction of the Riyadh Metro started in 2014, and despite its scale, it's moving fast. The project is being built in phases, and the first phase, which will include three of the six lines, is expected to open as early as 2024. Let's talk about the six lines. The Metro will serve the entire city, but each line has been strategically designed to serve specific regions and connect key points. For example, Line 1 Blue Line, a north-south line that connects King Khalid International Airport with the central business districts and residential areas like Al Malaz and Olaya. Line 2 Red Line, an east-west line that connects King Abdulaziz Historical Center, King Saud University, and the King Abdullah Financial District, Kafdi. Line 3 Green Line, a line that will serve the diplomatic quarter, an important area for international organizations. And the remaining three lines will cover key residential areas, government buildings, and the business hubs of Riyadh, offering unparalleled access to all corners of the city. Each station is designed to be state-of-the-art, featuring modern amenities, smart ticketing systems, and high-level security to ensure a seamless and safe experience for riders. In fact, the trains themselves will be fully automated, meaning no drivers. This not only increases safety, but also makes operations more efficient and cost-effective. When it comes to metro systems, Riyadh is aiming high. While it's not the longest metro system in the world, it's certainly one of the most advanced in terms of automation, sustainability, and design. Just like metro systems in cities like Tokyo, New York, and London, it will provide residents with a fast, reliable way to travel, but with the added benefit of being state-of-the-art. The construction of this metro system is no small feat. Engineers are using cutting-edge technology to ensure the metro's design is both efficient and environmentally sustainable. For instance, the Riyadh Metro will feature an energy-efficient design, with much of its power coming from renewable sources. It will also have solar panels installed at some stations to further reduce its carbon footprint. So, what does all this mean for Riyadh and its people? For starters, once the metro is completed, it will revolutionize the daily commute. Riyadh's population is growing fast, and with it, the need for a fast and efficient transit system. The metro will connect residential areas with business districts, making it easier for people to move around. It's expected to carry over 3.6 million passengers daily, alleviating the pressure on the city's roads. For residents, this means less time stuck in traffic and more time for work, family, and leisure. With automated trains, fast and regular service, and connections to shopping malls, parks, and entertainment areas, the Riyadh Metro will make life in the city more convenient. The Riyadh Metro will also help transform Riyadh into a global city, 
attracting tourists, businesses, and investors from all over the world. With its modern infrastructure, sustainable design, and cutting-edge technology, the metro system will become the heartbeat of the city. All in all, the Riyadh Metro is much more than just a public transportation project. It's a statement of Saudi Arabia's commitment to modernizing its cities, improving its infrastructure, and creating a cleaner, more sustainable future. With the completion of the Riyadh Metro, the kingdom is one step closer to realizing its vision 2030. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth looks at some of the world's most exciting mega projects. The Riyadh Metro is just the beginning. We'll keep you updated on all the latest developments. Until next time, stay tuned.